I manage a program called um, College Essentials Plus, and we support individuals that are preparing for college or in college and pursuing post-secondary education or wanting a career or to work towards a career. So we provide supports and in independent living skills, social skills, um, academic support and vocational skills. So it's very need and want based. So we do um, provide kind of a menu of services. We do meet and greets and make sure that the, this is the right fit for the person and for the program, making sure you know that they're motivated and this is what they want to do for their lives. And so they get to choose what kind of supports they receive in the program. So we work a lot on goals and smart goals and the steps to reach those goals. And usually the person is only in the program for up to five years because they've gained a lot of skills in the program. With person-centered approaches, um, it definitely changes the ways of thinking. We're not, you know, completely relying on the tools. It's the way our thinking process is, the way we problem solve, the way we could better support the individual and motivate them to think for themselves, to have goals for their life and have ownership of what they want in their life and have control of the services that they're receiving and their life as a whole, their job, where they want to live, things like that. Um, I have found that there's a lot of people that get used to the service, get used to the label. And since we have been starting some approaches, everyone being trained and understand our thinking has changed. Um, the silly paperwork has changed. It's more for the person. And also just with how we match staff and the person we support, it's just a better fit. In the social services field, there is a lot of turnover. And sometimes we may not be hiring the right fit. And I feel like with these practices, it's a better fit for the person we support and for the staff. I actually had um, an individual that came in Mainsoul with, that had a lot of problems with other providers. He was kind of the bad guy that no one wanted to support. And it was because of how he maintained or did not maintain his relationships and how he put a lot of people out of his life. And so we started doing what's working and what's not working, what makes sense, what is something we should just <laughs> throw away because it's not working out for him. And when we did working and not working, we really identified what is important to him, what is what's important for him, and how a staff can best support him right away. Because he did have a three strikes policy. If it's not working out the first three times, you're kind of out of here. And what we have used other tools with the same situation is for the staff and the person we support to have a better understanding of what the supports are supposed to look like. How are we supposed to support you in these goals and what is not the staff's responsibility? Because there is some trouble there trying to um, identify, well, can a staff do this or can they not do this? And so we even did a donut sort where he got to identify, these are my goals and these are how you're to support me. These are some things that I want for my life that aren't maybe formal goals, but these are the things I want support in so that I can improve my life. And then these are some things that are not a staff's responsibility. And so he has that so he can also hold the staff accountable <laughs> to make sure, hey, you're supposed to be supporting me in, the, in these ways, but also to remind staff, these are the things that you are supposed to be doing and things that are not your responsibility. Change is a scary thing. <laughs> Luckily, this is very positive. Of course, it is going, It there has to be some change to when we speak with the guardians, speak with other parties, because they're not always going to be for person-centered or for someone making their own choices. They like to have control over the person they support as well. And so it's also being able to change their way of thinking. And sometimes that could be very difficult. And so sometimes I have to step back and say, okay, I'm not going to go by the books of what we're always used to. This is what we're supposed to say. Because in the service field, I, I've seen in the past where it's like, okay, this is how you reply. When they say this, you have to make the guardian happy. When really that leaves the person we support not happy. Like I've heard before, misery is optional. <laughs> And I don't think it's very fair to the people that we support that, yes, we're keeping them safe, but not keeping them happy either. So it's safe and happy. That would be nice if they had both. So a lot of the times it's meeting with them and helping them change their perspective and say, this person is going to still be safe. 
However, there are going to be some risks that are going to be there and we're gonna be supporting them along the way. This person wants to improve their life and this is what they want for their life. We're gonna be here to support them. Yes, there's going to be risk. And yes, there may be a chance of failure, but this is what the person wants in their life. I do get some pushback. Um, I remember when I was doing um, some of the tools to um, create a one person profile or one page profile with one of my um, pe one of the people I support. And when I was asking him questions, the mom tried to piggyback and say, this is what they need to do. And you could just tell the person I supported was just so annoyed. They were just like, that's not what I want on my profile. <laughs> like, you know, it's, this is not exactly what I want. And so we had a, you know, talk with them and say, this is what's going to happen. If you say he needs to do this and he doesn't want to, there's going to be resistance and he's not going to do it. So we need to build a relationship with them and make sure that we know what is important to them and for them and help them get to where they want to be in their life. And I need you to support us and to you to take his interests, preferences and needs in mind also. We're going to help him get them there. We just need to trust each other that we have his best interest in the right mind. <laughs>